this is a very nice stitch it's I don't we we I think we decided it's a cold worm a warm stitch a warm stitch oh, roly poly they something. look like roly polies it's very nice it's a multiple of four so here I have 20 but I'm going to uh, tell you how to start so here I made one row of knit you, you already know how to knit and you already know how to purl so I did a row of knit a row of purl a row of knit and now I'm going to start with the stitch so repeating I cast it on my stitches I made one row of knitting one row of purling and another row of knitting so I think I have my 20 stitches here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20 so I have 20 stitches and let's start doing this so now on this one here on the wrong side I am going to knit one and now I'm going to go into there and I am going to go around my needle eight times some people do it ten times I think eight, eight times is fine so that's around the two needles crossed like this let me get this out of the way I think you can see it better so that's one two three four five six seven eight so I went around my two needles eight times and now I will go around the one that I'm knitting with and I will bring that one through <laughs> tricky yes it is tricky so you know you can always take it off but this is the fun of it so you take that one off your needle and now this one you need to open it nice and big so open it open it open it along the yarn that you're working with and now this is the one that you're going to pull so you're going to be pulling on that pull 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 And there it is. Okay, so now I am going to knit. And now I'm going to purl two. One, two. So let's do that again. We put your yarn in the back. You make a big cross in the, with your needles. With your working yarn, you're going to go one. Oh, it has to be around the two needles mm -hmm. so that's one two three four five six seven eight and now around the back one and bring your yarn to the front of course it didn't work <laughs> so you have to do it again I wonder if uh, knitting with a hook will be a good idea yes some people use a hook so that's okay if you want to use a hook let's try it in a little bit so that's one two three four five six seven eight you put your yarn through the back and then very carefully you bring it to the front it didn't work again let me go get it <laughs> sneaky there we go so now we're going to open this nice and big and now we're going to pull on the yarn pull 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 and then try to make all of them the same size it doesn't have to be exact but try to do it so that it looks nice so we knit the next one we purl the next two 
and then we do the thing again. Put your yarn in the back as if to knit and put your two needles and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around the back needle. Let me get some more yarn here and then pass it through. There it goes and then open it, open it, open it. Nice and big and then pull at that yarn with your fingers. Pull, 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 pull. That's your little worm there. <laughs> this is a lot of fun to make. So knit the next one, purl the next two, and let's do it again. You cross it and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do the back one. Bring it to the front. Open, see open, here. open. Well, um, if you go around your needles softer, your the yarn can go through your needles easier. So mm -hmm. now you're going to pull on that. Pull, 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 pull. There's your little worm. Knit the next one. Curl the next two and let's do one more. So that's my needles and we cross it nice and soft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you make your last one. That's the one that you're going to be passing through. And you pull. Pull, pull, pull. And then you make your, you stretch it, go. There's your little worm. Go and knit it. And then I knit the last one. I always knit the first and the last one. And then you make your last one. Sorry. And so that's the way it looks. Look how pretty that looks. But of course I need to alternate them. So on this row we're going to only knit because we are working on the wrong side row because like that your curlies come out on the right side. So this row is only knit and on the next row I will show you what to do because you do want to alternate them. You don't want them, unless you really want to have one on top of the other, that's your choice. And then of course if you want to have more stitches in between instead of only two, you can do that. And then if you want to make more rounds around your needle, you can do that too. So this is, you, you, it's your choice. So let me get some more yarn here. So now we turn and on this row in order to alternate it we're, I knit the first one because I always do that and I purl two and then I start doing the same thing on this side. I go into that one, cross my needles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go into four, my yarn, bring it through. Take all that off. Open, 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 open. And then pull. And the next one is a knit. And I will see you at the end of this row so I can show you what it looks like. So this is the way it goes. I already did three rows. That's one. And this is another one. And this is the last one. Now this 
is can be used also to make a nice edging like at the bottom of a sweater or a blanket or something like that because it really looks very pretty and then once you do your edging you can keep going with whatever stitch you want that this is just very pretty and of course you can do the whole thing with this stitch it's a lot of fun to make and thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and share our videos and like us everywhere and thank you